Rexasaur here, here doing another Rome Total War Battle Review. Uh, this is a three player free for all with me, yay! So um, this is with the Daimyo and Portugal and uh, we're preparing for the uh, tournament that's happening on the 23rd of February this Saturday as of recording time and uploading time usually. Um, so I'm playing Britannia, this is a barbarian uh, matchup. Daimyo is going to play uh, Germania and Portugal is playing Spain. So my army is as such. I have three World Raiders uh, gold attack, three Chosen Swordsman gold attack, one Druid gold gold which I positioned here, uh, three British heavy chariots, uh, one Barbarian Warlord gold gold, my chariots are gold, sorry. Um, I have three Barbarian cavalry mercenaries which are down there that are gold gold and I have six head hurlers, all of which are gold and one which is bronze defense. That's my army. The daimyo also has a very um, very even army, very attack orientated. Um, he has five chosen axemen gold attack, one naked fanatic silver, three chosen archers silver silver, four gothic cavs silver silver, and two berserkers gold. This packs a punch, I tell you now. And then Portugal is set up at the bottom of the hill. Uh, he sort of had the shoddy deployment zone, to be fair. Um, he has four bull warriors, from what I remember, because I think he's basically just deployed that the same here. So he has four bull warriors, gold, two scutorii, two barrack slingers, bronze, two naked fanatics, two long shield cav, gold, and one Roman, uh, Roman one armored general's bodyguard. Now I think. I'm gonna go against the daimyo first, and actually let's just play this. And um, I think one of the main things that I have over him is my mobility. I have a lot more cavalry units, and a lot. I have a lot more units generally, but he has a lot of pack punchers, especially these berserkers. Now the rules were 15k CWB, which will be exactly how the um, the the tournament will be done. So uh, at this point, I am going to move. I mean, we're talking at the same time. We're all on team speak. So I'm going to move my chariots, and I don't think either of these players knew that chariots were anti-cavalry. So Daimyo is going to send his cavalry against my chariots, thinking, "Ha, huh, easy kills." But um, yeah, it's not going to go well for him. Um, no, as you can see, a lot of deaths is happening. I I do lose quite a bit of chariots because he's a gold attack and there's a lot of them and the gothic cav but once I get a route going whilst this is happening I'm moving up my army I'm sending my individual units to attack no I'm not am I? Oh, I, I move my army very quickly because I was sort of going on an angle without realizing the enemy warlord lies dead now he can drink with his ancestors and so and I don't really, I don't have time to call a war cry which is an issue um, I'm also trying at the moment to get my people into um, used to using hotkeys. So um, yeah, and he's firing his um, very well firing his chosen archers. His chosen archers do so much damage; it's unbearable. And these axemen do a lot, but they go too far into my lines, and I have too many men here, and um, I have my druids chanting. Plus, head herders are amazing because they have the attack stats of, an, of a swordsman unit, and they throw armor-piercing heads. I, I, you, I keep one of my um, cav in reserve, chasing down his archers, to stop them from firing. It's not really successful, but and then he sends in these berserkers, and these berserkers are just tearing through men after man. They're just incredible. So I run out my men, thinking, oh no, no. As you can see here, we have a lot of dead Gothic Cav, included with a lot of dead Chariots, which isn't too good. But what I'm going to do here is I'm trying to uh, take out these Berserkers, which isn't cool. But uh, yeah, he's taking out a lot of my men, and I'm not taking out a lot of his. So I'm going to send in all my infantry against them, because that's what you have to do with Berserkers. Um, these men have routed uh, while well, they've sort of gone and I've been chasing my men against them. I didn't actually realize this was happening, so I wasted a lot of ammo on these. 
What is happening? My infantry is trying to get rid of these berserkers through a little recharge. It's not going to happen because these are heroic. Yeah, while I was in the berserk, which, yeah. Um, I have some cav and some chairs going around, and then Daimyo has to leave, so he admits defeat. But um, I, w I probably would have won, but I would have lost so much more men to him. And uh, yeah, so now that the Daimyo is dead, it's down to me versus Portugal. Now this battle takes a while to unfold, so I'm going to fast forward it. So he sends forward his army, as you can see it's quite a large army. And uh, yeah, he, he, has, he has four bull warriors and it's just... It's a massive amount and he hides them and stuff happens. So let's see this exterior. There's a lot of talking going on because he doesn't want to move and I don't he want to get off my hill. I've put my uh, Druid to chant. I've also moving my cavalry to entice his cavalry out as you can see here move his men forward a bit uh, I have no cavalry on that flank yet but I'm gonna move up the hill a bit um, to get that full-on hill advantage and then I move my uh, chariots down that side basically I'm trying to protect my flanks I, I know that yeah <laughs> Now, this game was set on last man standing, but technically it should have been scored. So, um, you'll see <laughs> what happens. It's a bit obvious that I win, because I've, I've already attacked more of his men than he has. Now, he's got some long shields down here. Now, where do I put my chariots? Have I lost my chariots already? Yes, I did. My chariots... I sort of charged my chariots in, and then they just died. So right now what's going to happen is I'm enticing him to charge with my cavalry and then I send in my British warlord and uh, kill his, obviously as light, light cavalry, he's just going to get decimated. So at this point you get shock face. So yeah, no casualties from me. You can see some little druid casualties from the head hurlers I accidentally shot my men with. So I'm sending my cavalry straight in and then jabbing right back to the middle just in case he sends in his other cavalry here because I know he's got other cavalry here. I'm actually going to deploy around this area just in case. My cav I've now got a pretty much a cavalry supremacy so I'm going to fast forward it again. He's going to move forward his men. He has a large army. And these bull warriors, either they are completely overpowered or they are absolutely devastated. They have written, no, they're not, they're not even absolutely devastated, they're just overpowered. <laughs> I didn't realise, but he's got four units and they attack gold, and it's just like, oh my god. Right, and at this point I tell him, yeah, you know chariots are anti cavalry, right? And he was like, what? Well, could have told me. I was like, yeah, I could have, but I didn't. And it's starting to rain. So we get a little bit more waiting. I move my men sort of at intervals. I'm going to move my head hurlers, then I'm going to move my infantry, then I'm going to move my head hurlers, then I'm going to move my infantry. As you can see. Move my druids. Get them to do a war cry. I'm moving my cavalry around the back, making sure he's, just, he's probably seen me, but it's it's good to like keep him on his toes, this cavalry's here. And at this point his men has moved, he's moving his men to sort of form a box for he's boxing me in basically. So yeah that happens. Let me accelerate a bit more. He's also got his slingers are attacking my men and doing a tremendous amount of damage. Bailey Eric's slingers are incredible. And at the beginning he said, Oh Spain have no archers it's like yeah but they have slingers which are much better. That's just debatable. It's all debatable. But yeah, he can really decimate these ward warriors. So at this point, I send in my men to charge. I've had enough of waiting around. So I, I do lose like all these, but I also take in a lot of peeler from these. Oh, these are ward warriors. His Scutorio is somewhere. Here, I think. Yeah, and these are going to send in the peeler. Take down a lot of my men. 
and these flee automatically. One of my biggest things I need to do is try and kill his general. So I've sent in my cavalry down the rear, trying to kill his general. That's my biggest thing because once his general's gone, his his morale will shatter completely. I've sent in my head herders to attack these bull warriors. These uh, scrutari are fleeing. But the problem with head herders is, although they are incredibly devastating, they do uh, have a very low ammunition. But I'm trying to attack his ball warriors um, because they have two hit points, which is just so much. They do, I think the price does indeed reflect how much they are worth, but they are so powerful. Absolutely devastating. Two hit points. It's basically a Spartan. And they have Peeler apparently, which I did not realise. No wonder I took so much damage. So yeah, this flank is me is gone pretty much. My druids are still chanting, I didn't realise. So I uh, send them into attack. I'm sending my head hurts. Sending my my general is desperately trying to kill his, but he's also got his naked fanatics here, taking me down. And there we go, I make him flee. I make him flee and then I, I route. I don't route, but I move my own general without actually killing his, which is a big mistake. A big mistake, but I just thought right here, this was a great chance. I mean, he's right in morale drop, but I should have killed him, and that's one of the big errors of what I do. I send in my uh, heavy carry, who is winded, um, take down a bit of their men. It's it's not enough. Um, and well, they do route actually, um, mostly because there's the naked fanatics. They don't have that much. I have still have a unit of barbarian and cav going around. Uh, I have several units of barbarian and cav. Right at, at this point here, it's looking pretty good for me. Then his general comes back from routing. Yeah, he's still up there. Oh no, he hasn't come out from routing. Maybe he doesn't come out from routing after all. But he's got. I. I mean, I see this unit of uh, Baderic slingers who's still firing, and I think oh, he's only got two or three units. I've seen him. You know, he's only got two or three units. It's all good. Uh, and I've killed a few there, so you know they're going to be very depleted. That's what I think. So I'm getting shot right now. And I'm thinking, mm, maybe not. I've only got head herders left. I have a unit of children swordsmen, but head herders are what I have. So without thinking, I send. I know he's got a unit, maybe a bull warriors left, but I send my barbarian cavalry, thinking, oh, they're only over there. And um, yeah, they're right in front of me. Bull warriors right in front of me. And then he's got more bull warriors who aren't depleted at all. You've got these full units bull warriors. Some barrack thing is still there, so I'm sending in these cav to attack them. I send in all my units against these. And then he's got even more bull warriors. Now there's only um there is only uh twenty nine of these, so these were depleted. I didn't realise that they came back from routing. Or he had moved them without me realising. So um very good use of hiding um people. At this point, I do another mistake. I charge the rear of these bull warriors, my um, warlord, when I probably should have gone for the Balearic Slingers. Uh, these head herders are actually firing, which is good. And he's got some naked fanatics left over as well, and it's just it's just not going well. He's pulling out units from their hidden trees. And um, I think this is a very, very good use of of hiding your units and masking how many forces you got. Because I honestly thought you only had two units of bull warriors, of which were very depleted. But you had two full units, one depleted unit, naked fanatics, which I saw out of nowhere, and more Baleric slingers. Very good use of it. That said, if I had gone against Germany second... Um, probably would get destroyed anyway. I kinda, could, with the army I bought, I could not have got gone um, with with against two armies like they, these two. The army they taken, despite being only playing online games, um, 
I mean, Portugal only played two Your online games on Rome Total War. I think one on Darth Maul as well. And, um, but this, this army selection was so good for CWB. Really good. As was Daimyo, his army selection was incredible. If, I think his only issue is that he went against me playing Britain. But anyway, yeah, good game. So, although I lost because this was last man, I would have won through kills. Um, but it was. I think it was very, very close. Um, the Portugal obviously killing a lot more of my men, but the side I mean, if he had, if he hadn't fled, like fled, if he hadn't had to go, he probably would have killed about 500, maybe 600 of my men with those berserkers, and I would just not have stood against Portugal as well as I did. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you can join us on the 23rd of February, uh, so this Saturday. Uh, for the tournament, it's open, it's free for all, it's 15k CWB, uh, and the win it two the two winners of each match go through to the next round until we have an ultimate winner. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more.